Major changes could be down the road for the Verrazano Bridge. And it could one day allow for you to bike or actually walk across the span safely. CBS 2's Steve Langford has the story that is new at 530. How do you get people on foot and on bikes from between Brooklyn and Staten Island? The 50-year-old colossus that is both an engineering marvel and a regular traffic headache might one day undergo a major retrofitting. The MTA considering building an extra lane on each side of the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, one for pedestrians, the other lane for bicycles. We think it can be done. We have to do more studies to make sure it's possible. It's 15 years away, at least, if they even go through with it. The cost estimated at three to four hundred million dollars. First, the lower deck of the Verrazano has to be replaced with lighter materials as part of already scheduled major repairs work for the span. We don't want to put weight onto the bridge unless we can take an equivalent amount of weight off the bridge. We're going to have the opportunity to do that when we put a new deck on the lower level of the bridge. The concept would have to be tested in a wind tunnel as well. Special bike and pedestrian ramps would be needed too. I would like it. Uh, if for me, I like it. On a beautiful fall day on Staten Island, mixed feelings about adding bike and pedestrian lanes to the Verrazano. I think the money should go somewhere else. I'm better things than that. Awesome. They need to connect the boroughs for bikers. I think it's ludicrous. Uh, more, more chance of people jumping off the bridge. Could there be tolls for cyclists? The MTA says it hasn't yet got around to addressing that question. On Staten Island, Steve Langford, CBS 2 News. And the MTA says it's also considering an alternate plan to build a new pedestrian and bicycle-only bridge right next to the Verrazano.